that ye all speak the same thing. The apostle didn't have women preachers Why you got them. That's right. The apostles didn't have no women bishops Why you got them. That's right. Peter was a married man. I don't read where his wife was the first lady or his assistant pastor. Why is yours? That's right. Go ahead, brother. The apostles had natural occupations. That's right. I didn't read where the church put them on a salary. No, no. And they robbed them. No. And told a lie and said, the Lord told me to buy jets. You <laughs> on a jet, get a job and go to work and buy it yourself. That's right. You on a mansion, get a job and go to work and buy it yourself. That's right. You on a Bentley, get a job and go to work and buy it yourself. Amen. Stop giving these poor pit crooks and these poor pit pimps That's right. your money. Amen. And all they do is come back and entertain you Sunday morning yeah. enough to make you happy, yes. make you feel good enough so you don't remember they lied to you that day. That's right. Don't tell me nothing to make me feel good Boy, and I'm right. on my way to hell. That's right. The purpose of serving God is to escape damnation. Amen. If the message in your church can't cause you to avoid hell, yes. use a fool to go there. That's right. Think of it. You go to church because the message is supposed to keep me out of hell. Yeah. Don't you know that? That's right. The message ain't supposed to put a smile on your face or make you run around the church or make you shout. It's supposed to keep you out of hell. That's right. If the message is wrong, you're wrong. That's right. Bible speaks plain. Like people, like, people. like, priests. like priests. If the, if the preacher's a liar, you become a student of those lies. Yeah. So what you do, you go witness the people about what you've been taught. Right. So you become a lie spreader. That's right. We're not out trying to trick the people or con the people or dupe the people. We're out meaning Bible business. All I want is for folk to be right with God. If you are blessed to live through this pandemic, you better run right to God's word and give your whole life over to God because God used any method that please him to gather men and women for judgment. And the death angel is still out now knocking on the doors of mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, bishops, so-called apostles, elders, deacons, God don't care who you are. He's taking you and most people are not ready to go back with God. Cleveland, are you ready to go back with God? And if you're not ready, we're here with the word of God to get you ready. So if any of you get offended, I advise you to leave now, wise early. Amen. You know, when I used to run track as a kid, we used to run with the baton in our hand. And when we get close to the next runner, he started running early. So the timing is right. And put his hand back so we can hand him that baton and he can keep on the race. But the journey that he was on didn't change. The apostles got their information from God. They walked with Jesus, talked with him, ate with him, handled him. They were students of a master teacher. Even though he had 12 men and made them apostles, then later on, Judas died and Matthias took his place. And then later on, Barnabas and Paul came. Not one, not one started a new religion. Not one started a new church. Not one was the founder of a new belief. Even though Matthias took the place of Judas and Barnabas and Paul came along later, Paul wasn't here when Jesus was here in the flesh, but his teaching didn't change. Now, everybody, glory to God, must 
have the same thing. Everybody. Everybody. I know that you can find in Cleveland like every place else. We was in Kansas City, Missouri a few weeks ago. In two days, 94 went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. A week before that, we were in St. Louis. About 112 went down in two days in the name of Jesus Christ. People are hungry. Everybody don't want to go to hell and everybody don't want to play church. And I would not have this grueling schedule of traveling, 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 trying to reach the soul of people. You know, it's much easier to go to hell than it is to get right. The reason why a lot of these men won't get right, they don't want to give up their title. They love being called bishop and elder and apostle and junior bishop and half pint deacon and all that foolishness. They don't want to give up their little cheap position in their church because they're getting paid making a few pennies. The greatest thing you have in this life is your soul, not your church position. Your soul is worth fighting for. And if you got in mind to save your soul, don't be surprised who you got to fight. It may be your bishop. Glory to God, it may be your pastor. It may be your wife. It may be your husband. But I guarantee you're going to have to fight against yourself. That's right. All right, Williams, open the word of God anywhere. Let's go to work and dive into the book of Scripture and take it apart. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, and we're at verse 10. Begin at verse 8. At verse 8. Follow me. Who shall also confirm you unto the end? Begin at verse 1. At verse 1. All right. Paul called to be an apostle. Ah, that sounds good. That's right. Paul called to be an apostle. Not he, went, he didn't go to school to be one. No. He was called to be one. This is 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse chapter 1. Chapter 1, again at verse 1, an apostle was God called. God sent, God made, God anointed. Right. I had a lot of folks write me and say, there are no apostles now. You better give me Corinthians 1 12, Corinthians 28. 12, 28. Let's see what God say about that. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 28. Listen. And God had set some in the church. First apostles. And if there is none now, I got Bible where God put them in the church. You just show me the Bible where God took them out. That's right. And if God say he put them in there, I'm going to believe God and ignore you. That's right. I had a man write me and say, you can't be an apostle because you wasn't there when Jesus died and rose. That's right. That's right. Paul wasn't either. That's right. Paul wasn't nowhere around right. when Jesus was walking this earth. No. But he declared in 1 Corinthians 1.1. 1, 1, and God had set 1 Corinthians 1.1. 1, 1, Paul called to be an apostle. Here, good now. Amen. Paul called. Called to be an apostle. To be an apostle. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Through the will of God. How was he made? Through the will of God. You see, God has to make you through his will. That's right. How in the world are you a bishop or an elder or a preacher of any kind? and you don't believe what Jesus gave his apostles. That's right. You detour from what they believe. You don't stand for what they believe. I believe firmly in what is written here. I don't care nothing about nobody organization. That's right. I said nobody. That's right. Why, Jesus ain't coming back for no organization. Oh, yeah. Jesus is not coming back for nobody's movement. That's right. Jesus is coming back for the same church he left here. You know, there's a saying that bishops have had for years. When Jesus come back, he coming back looking for a church. That's a lie. That's a lie. You look for something is when you lose it. That's right. He didn't lose it. He's going to present unto himself a glorious church. That's he right. said he's coming back looking for it. And he might present it to himself. Listen at what the word of God says. In Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27. That's what? That he might present it to himself. That he. He. That knock out the other two. That's right. That he may present it to himself, to himself. a glorious church. What kind? Not having spot Lord or wrinkle. think God can't have a spot or wrinkle. Or any or such thing. What kind of church it got to be? But that it should be holy. That it should be Baptist. It should be holy. Methodist. Holy. Presbyterian. Holy. Lutheran. Holy. Non-denominational. Holy. Jehovah Witness. Holy. Five percenters. Holy. Mormon. Holy. Muslim. Holy. Mason. Holy. Elk. Holy. Apostolic. Holy. Pentecostal. Holy. Am I right? I said. That it should Do be you holy. hear? 
The Holy Ghost said. But that it should be holy. What kind of people is God coming for? It should be holy. Holy. All right, Cleveland, you might as well get on board with what the word said. That's right. All of this stuff that these churches been professing for years, I have searched the scriptures for years, That's right. and I can't find it in here. That's right. So why are you bragging to be something that Jesus wasn't? Amen. Why are you boasting to be something that the apostles wasn't? That's right. You say you're apostolic? Find it in here. Amen. You say you're Pentecostal? Find it in yes. here. Yes. That's right. Bible said he's going to present unto himself a glorious church. What? Not having spot what else? or wrinkles what else? or any such thing. But what? But that it should be holy. Bible said, blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. That's right. That's right. If you're not holy, you know, there's only two options. That's right. Holiness of hell. Follow peace with all men. That's all it is. That's right. Bible said, follow peace with all men. And holiness. And Baptist. And holiness. Lutheran. Holiness. Apostolic. And holiness without which. Do you know where these other titles come from? Let's go to school, Cleveland. Do you want to go to school tonight? Before you profess something, trace the origin of the label. Baptists stole their title, they hijacked it <laughs> from John the Baptist's occupation. That's right. He was called John the Baptist, which meant John the Baptizer. That's right. His occupation, he was a baptizer. His religion wasn't Baptist no. because if his religion was Baptist, something is wrong. That's right. Because John said, I am not, he was not that the light. light. That's right. Do you hear this? In St. John chapter 1 and at verse 8. Know where your religion comes from. Amen. Know who started it. Trace the origins of it before you join it and pay uh, patronize it. That's right. Search it, Search it out. Don't just go along to get along because your mama and daddy go to some church. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. The word of God says what? He was not that light. In chapter and verse. St. John chapter 1. We'll start in verse 6. Says what? There was a man sent from God. There was a man was sent from God named John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. He come to bear witness of the light. That all men through him might believe. Yes. He was not that light. John, he was called John the Baptist, but the Bible said he was not that light. But was sent to bear witness of that light. He was sent to light. bear witness of it. That was the true light. That was the what? That was the true light. Ha! Amen. That was the true light. Read quick. Which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Yes. He was in the world. He was in the world. And the world was made by so him. So John the Baptist, somebody came along and hijacked this title and started the Baptist church. That's right. When God created the heavens and the earth, and the Bible said on the seventh day, the Lord rests. Right. Another false prophet come along and look at that word, seventh day. Day. Hmm. I think I will start seven day Adventist. That's right. That's what, That's what they done. They went to the Bible and hijacked Amen. scripture. And on the seventh day, the Bible says Genesis 2 and at verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended on his work. On the seventh day, God ended his, ended his work. Which he had made, and he rested. And rested. On the seventh day. And the seventh day. From all this work which he had made. Of all the work. That is made. I want you to get this. Right. In the second chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles, the high feasts of the Jews came along. Right. It was called the day of Pentecost. He didn't start or wasn't starting at Pentecostal church. Do you even know what the word Pentecost means? That's right. Pentecost mean feast in the book of Tibet. of weeks. That's right. It has to do with eating. That's right. It's a big Jewish celebration that Jews have to this day. That's right. Let's itemize this in the Bible. Let's get Old and New Testament. In the book of Tibet, chapter 2 and at follow verse me. 1. Follow me in the book of Tibet. Chapter 2 and verse 1. That's what? Now when I was come home again and my wife Anna was restored unto me. Yes. With my son Tobias in the feast 
of Pentecost. And the Feast of Pentecost. Which is the holy feast of which the is seven the holy weeks. feast of the seven weeks. There was a good dinner. No, there was a good church. There was a good dinner. There was a good church organization. There was a good dinner. There was a good dinner. Prepared me. Prepared me. In the which I sat down to eat. Now let's go to the second chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostle, begin at verse one. Acts chapter two and at verse one. That's what? And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. When the great feast came in the fullness. They were all with one accord in one Everybody place. Everybody was gathered together in one place. And suddenly and they came then the sound God interrupted the feast. And suddenly they God the interrupted the celebration That's right. that the Jews was having. And suddenly, hallelujah, glory to hallelujah. God. Suddenly, there came a sound from heaven. The Spirit of God came from as heaven as a rush of mighty wind. wind. And it filled all and the, house, filled where all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them cloven tongues like, like what? fire. Like fire. And it sat upon each of and them. And what happened during the time of the great feast? And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to do what? And began to speak with other tongues. As? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Pentecost means feast. feast. Now Holy let's see where the term apostolic came from. That's right. Give me Hebrews chapter 3 if I'm Three. correct. Yes. Amen. Wherefore, holy brethren, I want everybody to follow me. Hebrews chapter 3 and we're at the first verse. Says what? Wherefore, holy brethren, wherefore, holy brethren, Partakers of Part the heavenly calling. Partakers of the heavenly calling. Consider the apostle. Consider the. The apostle. Apostle. And high priest of our profession. What's his name? Christ Jesus. So they took from the word apostle, which is a person. Right. And started a religion or organization called apostolic. That's right. Now. Do you even know what is the first church organization that took the word and apostolic from the word apostle? It wasn't PAW, it was not UPC, it was not Bishop Johnson, it was not Bishop Lawson, it was not Bishop Seymour, it was not Bishop Hancock, it was the Catholic Church out of Rome, Italy. That's right. During the time of Constantine, yes. they have what is called the Apostolic Creed. Yes. And they have a building that they call the Apostolic House. That's right. Many of the churches around the world are influenced by the Pope of Rome and the pulpit and church goers are too dumb to even know it. That's right. When you say you're apostolic, you're identifying yourself okay. as the Catholic Church. That's right. Jesus That's right. has never declared himself. No. To be apostolic. No. Am I right, I said? Amen. The apostles have never declared themselves to be apostolic. That's right. Let's see what was the apostles. What kind of prophets they were. Yes. What kind of apostles they were. Yes. He spake by the mouth of his holy, holy prophets, prophets and his holy apostles since the world began. The world began. You know he had holy apostles. That's right. So that's where you get apostolic from, the word apostle. Let's look at Christianity. Yes. <laughs> Someone said, my religion is Christianity. Not mine. Not mine. That's a wicked religion. That's right. That religion came out of hell. That's right. Someone said, what? Jesus started Christianity. He did not. No. You can't find nowhere in the Bible that Jesus started a religion called Christianity. That's, That's right. what you've been taught. That's right. And because you didn't know no better, you went around professing, well, my religion is Christianity. Well, you say Christian is not in the Bible. I didn't say that. No. Let's see where they were first called Christians at. Acts chapter 11 and verse 26. Listen. And when he had found them, he brought them unto Antioch. And what? And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. Yeah. And taught much people. Taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians. The, the disciples was called Christians. First. First. In Antioch. They was first called Christians in a place called Antioch. Antioch. Because they saw disciples or followers of Jesus acting like Christ. That's right. Living a Christ-like life. So a Christian is a person. That's right. 
Christianity is a religion. That's right. And nowhere in the Bible did Jesus tell us that our religion was Christianity. Christianity. That's right. Lutheran. Where did that come from? Yeah. There was a man named Martin Luther. That's right. I don't mean Martin Luther King either. No. Martin Luther King mother named him after Martin Luther. Martin Luther was one of the men of the Catholic Church who disputed with the beliefs of the Catholic Church. That's right. And as a result of his dispute with the Pope and their some of their practices, he was considered a heretic. Yeah. So he went out spreading his grievances with the Catholic Church and there were other people that believed or had the same grievances. So he started a church named after him, Luther. And when you followed it, it became Lutherans. That's right. I want to take you to school. You can speak in tongue tomorrow. <laughs> Amen. Are you getting me? Amen. All these religions, Jehovah Witnesses, yep. were they two God religion. That's right. No hell. That's right. If it was no hell, I wouldn't be here in Cleveland. And if I was in Cleveland, if, if listen, if there's no hell, and if I happen to visit Cleveland, I wouldn't be in this meeting. I'm pretty sure some brothers can take me somewhere where they have a good time because it ain't no hell. No hell. Jehovah Witness, no hell. No hell. No baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. No speaking in tongue. Uh, no new heaven. No new earth. The Lord going to clean this earth up and make it fit for, for everybody to live. Regardless of what the Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass That's away, right. but my word shall not pass. That's right. So Jehovah Witnesses come along and took the Old Testament title, Jehovah. Jehovah. And then they go around trying to be a witness. How are you going to be a witness for Jehovah when you don't even believe he's one? That's right. That's right. So the devil went in religious business. Yeah. And many of us are victims. Some of us Mormons. Mm. Where did the Mormon religion start? There was a con man. Two con men, Joseph Smith, Brigham Young, two bigots. Joseph Smith said that an angel appeared to him by the name of Mermon in upstate New York. He's supposed to have found a tablet with ancient writings under a rock. And that's where the Book of Mormon supposed to come from these ancient tablets. That's right. The angel supposed to be named Mermon. That's right. This is why they call themselves Mormons, followers of the angel named Mermon. In Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8. If an angel brings something that's not like what Jesus brought, let the angel die and go to hell. But though we are an angel, though we from, are heaven, an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto And I you. can't find Mermon as one of the angels in the Bible. No. So I know there had been the devil that tricked old man Joseph. That's right. That's right. Do you hear what the word of God says? In Galatians chapter 1 and at verse 8. That's what? But though we are an angel from heaven. Preach any other gospel unto you. That what? Then that which we have preached unto what you. What did he say? Let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any, preach other, any gospel other gospel, unto, gospel unto, you, unto you, then that ye have received. What's the result? Let him be accursed. So let's look at the variety of religions, church organizations, church of God in Christ, church of the living God, church of God and prophecy, P-A-W, U-P-C. Church on the side of the Lord Jesus Christ. Church under the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Church by the Lord Jesus Christ. The upper room church. Churches that's named after a bishop. Bishop right. Carmichael's temple. That's right. That lets you know it's his personal business and he gonna make all the money and leave you out. That's right. 
Are you getting what I'm telling you? In St. Matthew chapter 16, we'll start at verse 17. Jesus made it plain in the 16th chapter of Matthew in verse 17. And Jesus answered and Jesus, said unto him, Jesus answered. take God answered and said unto him. Blessed art thou, Simon Bar-Jonah. What is it? Flesh and blood hath not revealed Flesh and blood didn't thee. make this known to you. But my but Father which is in heaven. The Spirit of God that's in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. What? And upon this rock I will build. All preachers that have on their building that they are the founder of the church, use a liar. That's right. You can't have two founders. No, no. Jesus made it plain here. That thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church. Who church? I will build my church. All right, bishop, apostle, elder, pastor. That's right. Take that lie off your building. That's right. If Jesus said, I will build my church, my church. how are you the founder of it? Amen. Jesus laid the foundation. That's right. And the apostle Paul come along and said, For other foundations, Glory to God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and at verse 11, Other foundations, Can no man lay. You know, many will find this offensive because they never heard nothing like this before. That's right. Amen. The word of God comes stripping you out of everything you've been taught all your life. That's right. You've been going to church, working in the church, helping putting a roof on, making sweet potato pies and pound cakes and That's potato right. salad and fried chicken oh, yeah. to support a pulpit bum. That's right. Playing drums, playing guitars, playing organs, sincere, and that man been conning you and duking you, and you've been going to hell since you've been there. That's right. And didn't even know it. That's right. And in most cases, the pastor is your father, yeah. your uncle, oh, yeah. your grandfather, yeah. or you hooked up with your blood brother to help him start a false church. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. This ain't no game. Go ahead. We have a God to meet. That's right. Hallelujah, glory to God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? For other foundations. The Holy Ghost said. For other foundations. Other foundation no can lay, no man lay. Then that is laid. Who's the foundation? Which is Jesus Christ. Who is it? Jesus Christ. Paul ain't the founder of the church. No. Gino Jennings ain't the founder of the church. No, no. Bishop Johnson ain't the founder of the church. That's right. Bonner not the founder. Lawson not the founder. Right. No man out here. That's right. That ever was or ever will be is the founder of the church. For other foundations. That started on the day of Pentecost, but Jesus. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. For other foundations. Do you hear this? In 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 11. Other. Other foundations. Glory to God. And Glory no to man God. lay. Other foundation can no man lay than that. That is laid. Who is it? Which is Jesus Christ. We're pointing everybody to Jesus. That's it. And this is why we're getting the results all around the world like we're getting. That's right. All right, let's go back to where we were now. Back in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse so 1. So now you get a chance to investigate your religion that you jumping about and waving your hands about and running around your church like you in the Indiana 500 and waving handshakes like you rooting on the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Go ahead. If you're a preacher or a deacon or a pastor or a minister, yeah. and your belief detour, right. what the apostles preach, the size of the back jawbone tooth of Amen. a gnat. Amen. You better get out the pulpit. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? One church, one gospel, yeah. one standard, yeah. one rule, one law. Given by one God. That's right. You mean to tell me we got one message here and everybody's different? Different. That's right. First Corinthians 1:10. First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. That's what? Now I beseech you, brethren. Now, glory to God. Now I beseech you. Know, you know, these brethren. hypocrites that say, well, you got your way, I got my way. We all one down inside. Oh no. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Jesus said, I am the way. That's right. Then it's hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Then now, I am! I am the way. Glory to God, I am the way, I'm the truth and the life. And, the and in order for your way to be like his, I don't mean trying to be like his. It's not a driving test. <laughs> no. You know, you take a driving test, no, you no. hit a cone, and he say, that's all right, I not know. here. Oh, no. No, no. no. You're going to do it just like this or die and go to hell. That's right. It's heaven or hell. That's right. 
I don't care who ordained you, how long you've been preaching, how long you've been pastoring. If your wife is so good, she's Gabriel's sister. Mm. When I look at this Bible, every church under the sun got to do it like this. That's right. Not do it like Geno Jennings, do it like this. That's it. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Are you getting what I'm telling you? First Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Follow me in your Bible. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now! Now. Hallelujah to God. Now I beseech you, brethren. I want to call your attention, brethren. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That what? That ye all speak the same thing. No. <laughs> no. That ye all no, speak. You mean to tell me that's really written? That ye all speak the same thing. The apostle didn't have women preachers. Why you got them? That's right. The apostles didn't have no women bishops. Why you got it? That's right. Peter was a married man. I don't read where his wife was the first lady or his assistant pastor. Why is yours? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The apostles had natural occupations. That's right. I don't read where the church put them on a salary. No, no. And they robbed them. No. And told a lie and said, the Lord told me to buy jets. <laughs> you want a jet, get a job and go to work and buy it yourself. That's right. You want a mansion, get a job and go to work and buy it yourself. That's right. You want a Bentley, get a job and go to work and buy it yourself. Amen. Stop giving these poor pit crooks and these poor pit pimps That's right. your money. Amen. And all they do is come back and entertain you Sunday morning. Yes. Enough to make you happy. Yes. Make you feel good enough so you don't remember they lied to you that day. That's right. That's all. That's it. He just get up, put his hands over his ears and tell you, and he like it. He's lying it. He woke you up this morning. Saw you on your way. He did it. Oh, shut up. Amen. Am I right, I said? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Man. Don't tell me nothing to make me feel good, Go and I'm on my way to hell. That's right. The purpose of serving God is to escape damnation. Amen. If the message in your church can't cause you to avoid hell, yes. use a fool to go there. That's right. Think of it. You go to church because the message supposed to keep me out of hell. Yes. Don't you know that? That's right. The message ain't supposed to put a smile on your face or make you run around the church or make you shout. It's supposed to keep you out of hell. That's right. If the message is wrong, you're wrong. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. Like people, like priests. Like priests. Like priests. If, the, if the preacher's a liar, you become a student of those lies. So what you do, you go witness to people about what you've been taught. Right. So you become a lie spreader. That's right. You spread the same lies that you ate up from your bishop. You are victims of bad teaching. And there shall be like people. The Bible says. In Hosea chapter 4 and verse 9. There shall be. Like people. Like people. Like priests. Just like the preacher is. That's how the people are going to be. That's right. Preacher, preacher wife supposed to be a preacher. Look at the women in the church. Unruly, loud, preach your wife like a prostitute, earrings everywhere, went to CVS and got her an extra piece of hair, Amen. <laughs> went to Walgreens and got her some plastic nails, That's right. got her face painted looking like Jezebel twin sister, That's right. got earrings on about biggest hubcaps. Yes. Got an ankle chain on looking like a street hooker. That's right. And claim she's saved and sanctified. Saved from what? Amen. Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 at verse 10. This is what the church got to be. And that she put difference. That she put difference. Between the unclean. Between holy. And that she may put difference. That she put a difference. Between holy. Between holy. And unholy. This trash you see in church today, you wouldn't see it 60 and 70 years ago. That's right. Hot pants on so-called saved women. Yeah. 
Grandma with a skirt no longer than my jacket. That's right. And a spit it out. That's right. Half naked cleavage advertising choirs. Yeah. A whole choir and a whole pulpit full of sissy acting men. That's right. Preacher got two and three wives. Deacon then got his wife divorced and got another. You know when you sit in dirt a long time, you get used to it. Yeah. And when somebody clean come along and introduce to you the cleanness side, you be like, wait a minute, something was wrong. No, ain't nothing wrong. That's right. The problem is you've been spoiled in dirt for years. Jesus. And now wrong becomes right. That's right. Let's get Bible for Isaiah it. Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. And then give me Jeremiah, I believe, 5 and 30. Amen. Follow me. Isaiah chapter 5 and we're at verse 20. Follow me. Woe unto them that call evil good. Oh. Amen. <laughs> Woe unto them. Woe unto them that call evil good. 5,000 prayer line. Yeah. $10,000 prayer line. An old false prophet to come in your false church and run a week's revival. That's right. There's a week of money collecting. That's right. And here, get up and tell you the Lord just spoke to me. Lord, just be a garbage and tell you the Lord just spoke to me. Lord, just be a garbage and tell you the Lord just spoke to me. Amen. Any old type of dumb tongue. That's right. And they tell you, the Lord just spoke to me, and the Lord said there's $5,000 in the house. And the Lord said if you give that $5,000, he'll give it back to you 100 fold. The <laughs> bishop and everybody, come give it to the sucker. Yeah. These men are charlatans. Oh, yes. Listen, I'm from the hood. And if any man is from the hood, we know a hustle when we see one. That's right. And that's why the sinner don't respect these Churches that just hide behind a cross it ain't nothing but a club with a bell tower. That's it. Hustlers. Hustlers. And what make it so bad, they hustle you and rob you and they use you and abuse you through the name of Jesus. And you trust them. That's right. So the preacher come tell you, God don't want nobody to be poor. If you're blessed, you'll have a house like mine. If you are blessed, you'll have a car like mine. Since when did you become a measure and stick of success? Amen. The greatest success is not materialism. It's not a house. It's not a possession. It's not a bank account. The greatest prosperity you can get yes. is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. That's right. I don't give two cents about what you own. When you die, what can you take? What can you take? If you've been watching the news, the countries all across the Mediterranean is on fire. Greece is practically burning down. The country of Greece oh, is burning. They got ships coming up to the different Greece islands. People are running, getting on boats to escape. God is burning them down. Yeah. Turkey is on fire, burning down. Other countries in the Mediterranean are on fire, burning down. Well, we're used to California burning down. <laughs> what is God showing you? Naked you came in the world. Naked you shall return. This is why we're traveling around the world to wake people up to understand you don't own nothing. You don't even own yourself. That's right. For the Lord said, all souls are mine. mine. Nothing you got, you can take with you. That's right. The most precious and the most valuable thing in your possession today is not your husband. Yeah. It's not your wife. It's not your children. It's your soul. soul. So Jesus asks us, what will a man give Jesus. in exchange for, soul. for your soul? What have you sold your soul for? You are elder in some church. Did you sell your soul to get that little title? You a pastor, you an evangelist, you are some little bishop. Did you sell your soul to get credentials? You the first lady or the second lady or the third. Did you sell your soul? That's right. 
to get that position. But there was none like unto Ahab. Listen. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 21 and verse 25. Chapter and verse again. 1 Kings chapter 21 and we're at verse 25. That's what? But there was none like unto Ahab. There was none like Ahab. Which did sell himself. Oh, you see all this Bible here? That's right. There's none like Ahab. Which and what did, did he do? Which did sell himself to work wickedness. He sold himself to do what? To work wickedness in the sight of the Lord. Amen. Examine yourself. Did you sell your dignity yeah. over the cheap position you got in some church? Did you sell yourself to keep going around getting knocked up by all these men who promised to marry you? and leave you pregnant and you find out you've been pregnant by bum one, bum two, bum three, bum four, bum five. That's right. Did you sell yourself so you can run down every woman like a male prostitute? Mm. Did you sell yourself and that's why you're wearing your pants hanging down off your behind like you's a male hooker? Yeah. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. Either you're on God's side or you're a sinner. That's right. There is no middle with God. No. Are you living together, not married, and still going to church on the choir, still running around playing instruments? Did you just have sex earlier today or last night with a woman that ain't your wife? Ahead, now you come here telling Pastor Jennings, go ahead and preach it. <laughs> and then when you leave here, when you leave here, you're going back to your apartment so you and your girlfriend can hang out. You walk around her in your drawers and she walk around you with nothing on. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Are you selling yourself, I said? But there was none like unto Ahab. There was none. Who would take God like Ahab? Which did sell himself. So the preachers have sold themselves years ago. Oh, yes. They sold themselves for prosperity, for a large building promised to them by some movement, for an upgrade in their uh, religious office, sold themselves for a new car, new house, new suit of clothing, sold themselves. In other words, the church, the preacher's supposed to prioritize. God first, your soul next. That's right. God first, your soul next. That's right. Your soul supposed to be so valuable to the preacher until all his teaching is for the protection of your soul, the sanctification of your soul, and the deliverance of your soul, so when you meet God, your soul can go back with him. That's right. If he's willing to neglect from telling you what's right, right. because he's afraid to lose your membership, mm. he don't love your soul. No. When you love a person, you tell them what's right. That's right. Do you hear what the word of God says? But there was none like unto Ahab. There was none like Ahab. Which did sell himself. Sold himself. To work wickedness in the sight of God. To work wickedness in the sight of God. Whom Jezebel, his wife, Whom stirred up. Jezebel, his, his wife, wife, stirred up. Stirred up. Stirred up. That's the way some of the preachers are. They're nothing <laughs> but right. figureheads. That's right. And man, they got Jezebel for their wives. That's right. Their wife come out, blouse cut low as this. Amen. Dress no longer than my jacket. Back all out. Bird claws for fingernails and yes. big old earrings everywhere until she jingles. You think somebody walking around with a pocket full of change? <laughs> That's right. That man got on different. She's dying her hair. You know, the mothers in the church years ago used to, you know, keep the young sisters in check. Yeah. Now the mothers out here doing the same thing and looking the same way. That's right. That they used to get on the young women about. I'm telling you, folks, everything is practically on its way to hell now. Oh, yes. The churches have backslid. The apostolic so-called have collapsed. That's right. The Pentecostals have went backward. Everything practically have turned their back back on the scriptures, and now church is one of the biggest rackets. That's right. It's a big racket. Oh, yes. Full of nothing more than entertainment. That's right. That's right. And the people love the habit, so. That's right. Let me give you a Bible that says so. In Jeremiah chapter uh, 5. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 30. Verse 30. Listen. A wonderful and horrible thing. A wonderful 
and horrible, horrible thing is committed in the land. What is it? The prophets prophesied falsely. The prophets. Prophesied don't you, don't you see him in the church? You know, these prophets are very dramatic to make you believe they're representing God. This is Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, the 30th verse. Amen. You know, have you ever went to a church and someone jumped up, supposed to be a prophet? You see how dramatic they get? Whew. 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 Thus saith the Lord. Oh, what's, the what's the matter with you? All that stomping and shaking like an empty can with marbles That's don't right. mean nothing. That's right. When God wants someone to prophesy, God going to open your mouth and make you talk. Otherwise, and that, all that other stuff don't mean nothing. That's right. Listen at this. We're going to strike all this out with Bible here. Jeremiah chapter 5 at verse 30. And then let's find out how do we know a prophet or not. Read Amen. quick. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Listen. When a prophet prophesied falsely, he take it upon himself to say, Thus saith the Lord. The Lord. And if that thing, I, I don't care if I got any men here that claim your prophets. I don't care if you claim your prophets. That's right. Any time a prophecy, so-called prophecy, came out your mouth, that's right. And that thing didn't come to pass. Didn't come to pass. You's a liar. That's right. I don't care if it's your daddy. Amen. Your daddy is a liar. His twin brother's a liar. That's right. You are a liar. That's right. I take your title of a prophet and make you lick that stuff up. That's right. This thing got to be done like it's written here. Otherwise than that, there I, someone said, well, I'll, if it don't happen, I'm still a prophet. I agree. You're a false prophet. You're a false prophet. That's what you are. That's right. Come on, son. The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. And the priests bear rule by their means. And the preachers bear rule by their means, which means they put themselves up in the pulpit. Now, how do the people feel about it? And my people love to have it so. Love to have it so. They love it when a false prophet lie, right. and they love it when a preacher jump up in the pulpit on his own and then say, God put me up here. And if God put you up here, then God word will be in your mouth. That's right. And when God word is in your mouth, you'll stick one trillion percent with the word of God, even if what you preach contradict the organization you're in. That's right. Anytime you try to follow the guidelines of an organization and that organization went far to left field from God's word away with the organization. That's Come right. back to Bible. That's right. Come on back. That's Come right. on back to Bible. That's right. God, hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling the world. Come on back to scripture here. That's right. Come on back. Don't That's tell me what organization you in. It don't mean nothing. No. Amen. Come on back to the original thing. That's right. That Jesus gave his apostle. He laid the foundation and everything they had, they had it right. That's right. What did he say, son? The prophets prophesied yes. falsely. And the priests bear rule and by the their means. And by their means. And my people love to have it so. All right. Now I'm in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18. Let's see how we know or recognize a prophet or not. In Deuteronomy chapter 18, we'll start reading in verse 20. I want this to be good in case I got any undercover prophets here. <laughs> That's right. Undercover prophets. That's right. You know, when this stuff get a hold of them, you, they won't prophesy. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, they no. go back to their false church. Then the devil get on them and make them jump around and all that stuff. That's right. But my God, when this stuff hit them, they sit tight like their britches is glued to the chair. That's right. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 18, we're starting at verse 20. What is it? But the prophet which shall presume. The prophet which shall presume. To speak a word in my name. To speak a word in God's name. Which I have not commanded him to speak. And God did not command him to speak. Say that. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Or shall speak in the name of other gods. Even that prophet shall Even die. Even that prophet shall die. And if thou say in thine heart. If thou say. In thine heart. In thine heart. How shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? How shall we know Amen. the word that God did not speak? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. When a prophet come in the Lord's name. If the thing fell him not. And if the thing don't happen. Nor come to pass. And it don't come to pass. That is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. And if you say the Lord said something and he didn't say it, that make you a liar. That's right. Somebody come to you and said, the Lord spoke to me and said, you're going to receive the Holy Ghost tonight before 12 midnight. Yeah. Just wait. Just wait. Watch the clock. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? Just watch the clock. That's right. If that hand go to 1201, liar! That's right. If the thing follow not, 
No come de pay. If you go to these churches, you got some old thing that pose at the preacher that's going out telling you to touch cars and touch houses and claim it. That's mm. trash teaching. That's right. Barry never told you to touch nothing no. and claim nothing. No. That's covetousness. That's right. How you the world you gonna claim a house that someone else was living in and you want it? That's the spirit of covetousness. That's right. And that's exactly what the devil's making these preachers preaching. A lot of you is touching somebody else's husband and claiming it. Oh, that's my, I'm going to pray that God give him to me. That's the devil out of hell. <laughs> that's, right. Huh? that's right. That's covetousness. That's right. Pastor Paul said, I set everything in order when I come. I want you to get this, Cleveland. Cleveland, we are, that's why we got to have a Lord's house here. Oh, yeah. Amen. No matter so about it, we got to have one here. Oh, yeah. Amen. All the preachers in the city got to speak the same Amen. thing. Not, in, not some things. No. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1.10, Now, now I, I beseech you, brethren. By brother, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the Lord's name. That ye all speak. The what? Same, that ye all speak. The same thing. All speak the same thing. What? That ye all speak the same thing. Amen. They didn't have junior elders there. If you're a junior elder now, your junior elder title is just as good as a $3 bill. That's right. They didn't have no deaconess in there, no women that were deacons. And you got him in your church, you ain't speaking the same thing. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> The Bible didn't say when Jesus rose, Mary preached the first message. Right. And if that's what your bishop said, he ain't speaking the same thing. No. Glory to God. If your bishop said, flesh and blood is in heaven, mm -hmm. and the word of God plainly says, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, you ain't speaking the same thing. That's right. If your preacher said, Jesus is the second person in the Godhead, and the Holy Ghost is the third person of the Godhead, and God says, there is no God with me, there is no God before me, and God says, I don't know any God, you ain't speaking the same thing. That's right. On the day of Pentecost, when they received the Holy Ghost, they speak with other tongues as the Spirit, as the Spirit, the Spirit give utterance. And yet you go to a church, and when the preacher say speak, you speak, that's as the bishop give utterance, that's not right. the spirit. That's you ain't right. got the same thing. That's right. If you got a church and a bishop can tell you speak, yeah. and you speak, that's not the Holy Ghost. That's right. Talk back to me. Amen. Give me the second chapter of Acts of the Apostles. And at verse 4. Says what? And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with they began other to tongues. do what? And began to speak with other tongues. They began to do what? And began to speak with other tongues. How was it done? As the Spirit. As what? As the Spirit. As what? As the Spirit. As Bishop. As the Spirit. As the Pastor. As the Spirit. As the Elder. As the Spirit. As your husband. As the Spirit. As the Spirit give up. Gave the utterance. Amen. You got a Holy Ghost. Yeah. And a bishop or a false prophet come in your church and run some revival. That's right. And said, speak. And you start humming out, humming out. That's the devil. That's, that's the devil. That's faking. That's right. That's hypocrisy. That's right. The Holy Ghost is God. That's right. And no bishop can turn God on no. and turn God off. Amen. No man Amen. got power over God. That's right. God got power over man. That's right. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Ghosts. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What is that? They were all filled Glory with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? And began to speak with other tongues. As what? As the Spirit gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you go to any church Hallelujah. and your pastor or, or some false prophet run a revival, right. when I count to three, yeah. Holy Ghost going to fall. Yeah. One, two, and everybody gets set. That's right. Three. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, that's the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil. That's right. The Holy Ghost Hallelujah. is God. Yes. Yeah. For you're baptized by one spirit That's right. into one body. That's right. And that one spirit is God. Amen. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. If you got a Holy Ghost, you can't feel yeah. until you see your bishop. That's right. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Your bishop don't have the power. 
to operate your Holy Ghost. That's right. Holy Ghost is a gift. That's right. James said, every good gift. Good gift. Holy to God. Hallelujah. Every perfect gift. gift. Come down. That's right. From the Father above. From the Father of light. Right. Of whom there is no variables. No shadow of turning. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost come from heaven. That's right. Not from your pastor. That's right. Not from your bishop. No, no. Not from your apostle. Amen. So you can't feel the Holy Ghost until you get around your bishop. You don't have it. That's right. That's right. You don't have it. You don't have it. You ain't got nothing. That's right. Go ahead, man. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. What kind of ghost is it? The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What kind of ghost is it? The Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. From a holy God makes a holy church. That's right. Makes a holy people. That's right. Holy Ghost from the holy God makes a hallelujah. A holy church makes a holy people. That's right. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They was all filled with the Holy Ghost. With and the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. And began to speak with and other tongues. And began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit. As who? As the Spirit. How does it work? Okay. As the Spirit. How does it work? As the Spirit. How does it work? As the Spirit. As the Spirit do what? Gave them utterance. When the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Speak through you. Hallelujah. It's not controlled by music. That's right. It is not controlled by the choir. That's right. It is not controlled by the bishop. That's right. Because it is the power of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The problem with the church. Many of them didn't receive the real Holy Ghost. Real Holy Ghost. You receive an organizational ghost. That's right. A organizational ghost. God do not break his word to do nothing. God functions according to that book. That's right. How God gonna go opposite from the book Amen. and then tell you and I search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. That's right. But then he gonna do something opposite from the book. Oh no, no, no! And they were all filled Hallelujah. with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Thank God. Huh? Amen. They got to have it, like it's written here. That's right. If it ain't written, I don't believe. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't care how popular anybody bishop is. That's right. If that thing ain't according to here, you're not gonna get me to believe it. That's right. I believe what's written. What's written? Therefore, have I, spoken. have I spoken. That's right. And what is that? In the book of Romans 15 and verse 4. Follow me in your Bible. For whatsoever Follow things, me in your Bible. Romans chapter 15, now we're at verse 4. We, got, we believe what's written. That's it. Therefore, That's right. have I spoken. That's right. I want you to follow me in your Bible now. First Everybody all right? Amen. Glory to God. Come on, Cleveland. First in Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Chapter and verse again. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Chapter and verse again. Romans, the 15th chapter and at the 4th verse. Solomon. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. Whatsoever things were written aforetime. Were written for our learning. It was written for what reason? Our learning. For what reason? Our learning. How can you learn it if somebody don't teach it? That's right. If nobody teach it, then we are innocent victims. Right. And we can't do no more than what we know. That's we right. may be sincere, we may want to be right, but we are innocent victims of charlatans. Mm. The most dangerous place in a church is up here. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. The most dangerous place That's right. in a church That's right. is in the pulpit. Oh, yes. If somebody died, with the wrong information that you gave them? Yes. Give me the book, in the of, book Ezekiel. of Ezekiel. Chapter 3. And then we go back to where we were. In There's the so book. much Bible crowding my mind here. Amen. The most dangerous. When these men tomorrow say, Oh, I got the calling. I got the calling. You got the calling to do what? Yes. You have many false prophets. Oh, yes. Many are called. Yeah. Few are chosen. Yes. And you can tell they're not chosen. 
right. Because a man that's not chosen run in, he run after everything. That's right. And any old trash he believe. Right. He's like a chameleon. Wherever he go, he don't want to offend them because he want to give that, those dollars. So he go in and say amen to them, go somewhere else, say amen to them. I believe in old fashioned, holy sanctification. That's right. This old modern trash that came in the churches, yes. we're going to blast it back to hell. Amen. Including the pulpits. Amen. I don't care who's in them. And you can call yourself a preacher sitting out there. That goes for you too. Oh, yeah. I don't care if you preach on the corners of Cleveland. Uh -huh. We're going to get a hold of you too. Oh, yeah, Do you hear what the word of God said? In the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and we're at verse 20. The most dangerous position in the whole building. Is up here. That's right. What did he say? In Ezekiel chapter 3, and we're at verse 20. That's what? Again, when a righteous man do it turn from his righteousness. When a righteous man turn from his righteousness. And commit iniquity. And commit that which is wrong. And I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Then what? Because thou hast not given him because warning. Because you didn't give him warning. He shall die in his sin. He's going to die in his sin. And his righteousness which he hath and done shall not be remembered. righteousness shall not be remembered. But his blood. But who God going to blame? His blood. Will I require at thine hand. That's why I have to tell you what's right. Have to. Have to. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't like none of you. I love all of you. <laughs> don't you like me, Pastor Jennings? No. Right. I don't like none of you. I love all of you. That's right. That's why I'm going to tell you the truth. Now, you can go to your false church tomorrow if you like yeah. and waste your time. Right. But glory to God, I'm like, well, we going to come back and slap you over with Bible. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The word of God says what? Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin. Think of it. When the prophets and the apostles was walking earth, hear me well, those men were warners. That's right. Everywhere they went in the world, they warned the people. That's right. Yes. You can almost count on one hand how many warners how many warners is in anybody, church? Amen. The only thing they warn you about is not giving enough money. <laughs> That's right. That's it. That's right. Outside of that, you don't get no more warning. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Do you hear this? In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and at verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Unto the house of Israel. To Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Hear the word of God at my mouth. And give them warning. Hear them what? Give them warning. No, hire a, a, a so-called Christian comedian to entertain the church. And give them warning from me. That's where the churches have gotten now. Right. They hire a so-called Christian comedian to tell Christian jokes. That's right. Then you go to churches that have sponsor crews, yeah. Christian crews, yeah. and so-called holy sanctified women all out on the deck with a bikini. That's right. And then Bishop come around. That's why he wanted to pray for you then. That's right. <laughs> Bishop want to rub you down with some holy oil. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, man. Bishop come walking through the deck and saying, "Is <laughs> all them so-called Christian women all laid?" Hi, Bishop. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, yeah, the Lord. I got a message today from the Lord. He looking at all them legs and. Thighs and breasts is his. That's right. Go ahead. You go to that garbage so long you don't see nothing wrong with it. Because you don't mind Bishop looking at your meat. That's right. You and Bishop both going to spend eternity in hell. Amen. Do you know what this is, Cleveland? Cleveland, this is heaven or hell. Oh, yes. It ain't nothing else. This, that's all it is, that's is it heaven is. or hell. That's right. That's, that's the old fashioned message. That's right. Heaven or hell, ain't nothing between. No. Oh, it be to God, I said nothing between. That's right. What did he say? Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. I made thee a watchman to Israel. Therefore hear the word in my mouth. What is it? And give them warning. Give them warning. From me. Uh -huh. Again, when a righteous man do a turn from his righteousness. If a righteous man turn from his righteousness. I commit iniquity. And he sin. And I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Then what? Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin. You mean to tell me a man living together? With somebody who's not his wife, mm. and you won't tell him because he's your brother. That's right. He's your cousin. Yeah. That's what's going on in family churches. That's right. 
That's right. If a sister in the church get pregnant, and, you, and she come before the church and repent, and you reprimand her, didn't sit her down, but yet your daughter get pregnant, come on. and you don't say nothing, nothing. and you a bishop, Amen. you a hypocrite. That's right. Bible says if you have, he to have respect a person, commit sin. Commit sin. If you're going to sit that sister down because she got pregnant, sit your daughter down. That's right. Because if you can't do it, the Bible tells the bishop, if he can't rule his own house, how can he take care of the house of God? That's right. If you're going to lay out a brother because he got a sister pregnant, you sit that sister down and sit that brother down. But then your own son done knock somebody up. And got her pregnant. I don't care if your son is an elder. Sit him down. Take him right out the pulpit. But if he have respect to persons. The Bible says in the book of James. James chapter 2 and at verse 9. If he have. If he have respect to persons. Favoritism. Ye commit sin. And are convinced of the law as transgressors. Amen. Do you hear this? But if he have respect to persons. Glory to God. If you have favoritism. He commits sin. He commits sin. And are convinced of the law. And you are convinced of the law. As transgressors. You are transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law. Yeah. If a sister do something wrong openly. Open. And bishop rebuke her openly. Fine. Yeah. But if your wife do something openly wrong. And yet you say nothing. You are a hypocrite. That's right. He commits sin. You're going to rebuke one of the mothers in the church openly because you do something openly? Good. But if your kinfolk, your wife, your grandmama, I don't care who it is. That's right. Do something wrong openly and then you're like, well, I mean, I, I deal with hun later. <laughs> I deal with hun. No, 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 no. If that Bible is good enough to reprimand Mother Charles for her wrong, That's then that right. Bible better be good enough to reprimand your wife That's when right. she's wrong. That's right. That's right. I don't believe in favoritism with nobody. No, you don't. No, you don't. I mean, nobody. That's right. Am I right, Williams? That's right. You get me, me. And we, me, and, me and Williams knew each other almost all our life. That's right. He was a Trinitarian. I was a one God man. Now we're both a one God man. Amen. But as close as he and I is, yeah. I take his head off and serve it to the, to, the, to the world with the Bible. That's right. Nothing That's right. should be closer to you than God. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. Yeah. All right, let's finish up where we were. We were in Romans chapter 15 and at verse 4. Real quick. For whatsoever things were written of four Whatever time, things were written of four were written for our learning. That's why we got the scriptures here. That's right. It's written for our learning that we through preaching the coming of the scriptures might have hope. Might have hope. Read now, on. Now in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. Yeah, I want uh, what we speak yes. by the Spirit. Listen at this. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. All right. We having the same spirit of wait, faith. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want y'all to hear this real good. Get chapter and verse and I want y'all to read it for yourself. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and we're at verse 13. 2 Corinthians the 4th chapter and the 13th verse. Listen at this good. We having the same spirit of faith. Now. If you got the same spirit of faith, that means that God in you makes you believe what's written. That's right. There ain't that much Holy Ghost in a cat. <laughs> you got the Holy Ghost and you fight what's written? You yeah. fight it? Fight it. I get thousands of letters, stacks of mail from all around the world. And most of my 99% of the ones that fight say they're Christians. I got more so-called church people fighting me than them that are sinners. Amen. Sinners that say, well, I appreciate you, Pastor Jennings. I'm not saved. You know, I don't go to no church, but when I do get right, I'm coming where you are because you don't play. You tell it like it is. That's right. Most of the sinners, he's mean. Oh, can he say things a little bit nice? He, he tells the truth, but oh, my God. <laughs> Why he got to say it like that? Like All right, that. let me ask you a question. Why you got to sit like that? That's right. Why you got to act a fool? <laughs> Why you got to smoke? Why you got to drink? Why you got to fornicate like that? Yes. Why you got to divorce and remarry? That's right. Why you a man and got to switch like that? Amen. Go ahead. You just like a spoiled child oh, yes. who parents let get away with anything. Mm -hmm. And then when that spoiled child go to grandma and grandpa house, 
the child know I'm in a different atmosphere now. That's right. I got to wash my hands before I eat. I can't, I can't walk across the chairs with my shoes on. That's right. I can't hit back at grandma and grandpa. I got to say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. Amen. I can't step over them or interrupt them when they're talking to somebody. I have to say, excuse me, ma'am. That's right. Yes, sir. When you're young and don't have no teaching, you'll raise a child, you'll tell, Billy, sit down. Billy said, no. <laughs> And then young mother said, oh, that's cute. Go to grandma's house, Billy, sit down. No, no. That's right. Once that thing hit Billy, she never had to tell Billy sit down again. That's right. All she got to do is look at the chair. And Billy go to it. Why? He's now in an area where discipline right. is of a necessity. This is why churches are like a garbage site. Yeah. From pulpit to the door, discipline is gone. Oh. What is discipline? The rule book of law. That's right. If children lose respect for mother and father and there's no fear in that house, no respect in that house, that house is chaos from top to bottom. Mothers, this modern day parent, let your daughter boyfriend spend the night under your roof. Break it down. Break it down. Let the girlfriend spend the night under your so-called right. Christian house. That's right. You a Christian with Jack Daniels in your house. Oh, yeah. Cans of beer. Amen. House parties. Can you imagine that? Smoking, drinking, That's right. gambling, cussing, rap music, blasting out your house. That's right. You a Christian? You in Christ ain't got nothing in common. No. Mm -hmm. We having the same spirit you, of faith. Do you have the same spirit of faith? Mm -hmm. Is your faith, is your belief, is the same as Jesus? That's right. And we having the same spirit of faith. How? According as it is written. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. Amen. That's what got me barking so loud, got me thundering the thing. That's right. Because according to what? According as it is written. Made up. As it is written. I suppose. As it is written. The preacher's opinion. As it is written. Theology. As it is written. Philosophy. As it is written. Amen. 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 You know, many of the preachers got their name and then they got their title on their building, Dr. D.D. And they look at the stuff that been preaching in these churches. We thought it was Bible for years. Right. Five minor prophets and five major. The Bible never said five minor or five major, nothing. No. John died 96 AD in, the bar, in a pot of boiling oil. The Bible never said that. No. 400 years of darkness fell upon the earth after the last prophet Malachi died. No such scripture exists. That's right. When Isaiah said, I know a child is born, a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulders, his name shall be called Wonderful Counsel of the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government, the peace there shall be no end. Preacher says, 712 years later, Jesus came. The Bible ain't never said that. No. Mm -hmm. Paul died at Nero's chopping block. The way Paul died is not in there. No. Peter was crucified head down and feet up and said, I wasn't worthy to be crucified like my Lord. No such crucifixion have ever been recorded in the book. That's right. Book of Acts of the Apostles, when they ordained seven, the preacher's been saying for years that was the first seven deacons in the church. That's a lie. The Bible didn't say they were deacons. No. Mm, 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 mm. It ain't never been in the Bible. Been in there. And you jumped and shout and huck a buck and did the split. <laughs> did the split, moonwalk, fell out. You know why? And most churches, you ain't allowed to ask your bishop no questions. That's right. And wherein the bishop should not mind you questioning him. That's if right. a man don't want you questioning what he's preached, don't you give another dime in that church. That's right. Not a dime. That's right. 
Do you hear this? We having the chapter same. Chapter and verse again. Second Corinthians chapter four and verse thirteen. Come on, Williams. We having the same spirit of faith. Not a different spirit. Same spirit. Our faith, our belief, supposed to be the same. So if they same. were holy. What are you? Mm. Same. It is plainly written here. We having the same spirit of faith. Our spirit supposed to give us the same, same. belief. That's right. That's right. I believe in holiness. So the Bible said a highway shall be there and a way. And a way. It didn't say and ways. No. W-A-Y-S. No. And a way. A way. Then the word of God told us what it shall be called. And it shall be called the way of holiness. One way. One way. Glory to God, one setup, one That's gospel. Right. That's right. Uh -huh. We having the same spirit same of faith. Same spirit of belief. According as it is written. According to what's written. I believe. Wait a minute. I want you to look at how it's broken down. First, we have the same spirit of belief. And now it tells us where our belief come from. According as it is written. And now we get our belief from what's written. And I believe. Now we believe what's written. And as a result of us believing what is written, what's next we do. And therefore have I spoken. Then you can preach right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. You Wonderful. believe it? Wonderful. You go by what's written. Yeah. Then you talk. Then you talk. Believe it. That's right. Go to what's written. Then talk. That's right. That's the order. That's the order. Believe it. Go to what's written. written. Then talk. We having the same spirit of faith. Wait, wait, we got the same. The same spirit of faith. Even, um, here, even mm -hmm. Jesus referred to what's written. That's right. He died and came on back and said, "Thus it is written." Thus it behooved Christ to suffer to rise from the dead the third day, Amen. and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And he told them, you are my witnesses of these, these things. things. And behold, That's right. I send the promise of my father on you, but wait to the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. Amen. Then return they to Jerusalem from the mount that is called Olivet, and they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's right. You got to believe what's written. That's it. A lot of this stuff that we've been hooping and hollering and jumping around about ain't never been written. No. Never, never been written. So no. we become victims of hand-me-down teaching. Yes. What do you mean? Bishop got it from his bishop, who 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 got it from his bishop. That's right. Hand it down from one bishop to the other, one bishop to the other, one bishop to the other. So then, the next young generation of young men become students of hand-me-down teaching. That's right. And now that next group of young men go out, train, and learn the same junk. Yeah. And that's why that stuff been in the earth for so many years, because each generation, each generation come been learning the same old mess. That's right. God's word is here to break the vicious cycle. That's right. I'm going back to what's written. What's written? I done investigated. I, you know, I'm a man who loves history. I study history, not to learn the truth. I study history for information. That's right. I can't fight a religion unless I know the history of it. Amen. That way when men come to debate me, I can talk, they talk, and then beat them up with the Bible. <laughs> that's right. When you come to me, Bishop so-and-so said, that's fine, now I'm going to bring you what Jesus said. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you, who are you going to take, Jesus or Bishop? That's right. And when you take Bishop over Jesus, you and Bishop going to hell. Oh, yeah. I don't care if the bishop is your daddy, your slap happy grandpappy. <laughs> if they detour from the word of God, you and bishop both gonna be dropped in hell. We having the same spirit of faith. Glory to God. According Cleveland, Cleveland. Amen. Do you have the same spirit? Same spirit. Is your belief according to this? That's right. If your belief is according to this, why did you bow your head and raise your hand and claim you accept Christ as your personal savior and now you're saved? Mm -hmm. Your belief is according to this. Why do you go to some Catholic church and let a priest who can't keep his hand off the altar boy throw water on you? That's right. You say your faith is according to this. How is it you got baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? And Jesus said, do it in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you can't do it in the name unless you know the name. That's right. And when you know the name, you can call the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which is Jesus, and he's the Christ. That's right. That's right. You got the same spirit of faith? How would you touch some television and, and preacher said, tell the Lord to come into your heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. Wash me and cleanse me. Then the preacher said, you're saved, my friend. $20 a week. <laughs> That's right. You got a cheap religion to sell you. 
Do you hear the word of God talking? We having the same spirit if of faith. You got faith. the same spirit of faith, then your salvation got to be in here. That's right. I want everybody to hear me and understand and know the truth. Mm -hmm. It ain't nobody been saved since the earth been here unless you obey what the word of God says. That's right. Jesus come along and taught his apostles mm -hmm. and sent them to Jerusalem. Yeah. Thank God where the word of God was preached. preached. On the day of Pentecost, the apostles stood up with the eleven. That's right. And it is written, then Peter said unto them, Repent. Acts 2.38 says what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right, Cleveland. Cleveland, all of you that bow your head and raise your hands, you ain't never been saved. Come on. I'm not going to tell you I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry to tell you this. I'm not sorry. No, you're I not. mean to tell you. That's right. You've been bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. Your pastor lied to you. You thought you were saved, didn't you? Amen. When someone got your head down and hand up, don't you know you're being robbed? Amen. <laughs> Preacher said, bow your head, raise your hand. He got a lie on your back. That's right. Yeah? That's right. He got a lie on your back. You thought you were saved. No, you ain't saved. No, you're not. You're still a sinner. Mm -hmm. You may be sincere, but you're still a sinner. Why, Pastor Jenny? Did Jesus ever tell you, bow your head and raise your hand? Yes. No. no. Put your hands down and raise your head up. <laughs> That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus that he rose from the dead, and the Bible said I am saved. The Bible did not say that. No. Give me the book of Romans. Romans chapter I 10. love the detailed teaching. That's right. And show you what you overlook. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 That's and 10. That's what your bishop said. Mm -hmm. As you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus that he rose from the dead, you are saved. Oh. Liar! He didn't say that. No. No, no. Listen closely at what it says. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. What is it? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the if, Lord Jesus. If you would admit, acknowledge the Lord Jesus. And shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be oh, saved. Oh, you shall be. It didn't you shall say, say you are. That's right. When it says you shall be, that means you got more to do. That's right. So I want to say, well, what more is it to do other than believe? Give me the book of Mark, chapter Mark 16. Mark, chapter 16 and verse 16. That's what? He that believeth. He that believeth. And is baptized. And. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believing is not enough. That's right. Glory to God. The word of God speak plain. He that believeth. He that believeth. And is baptized. And is baptized. Shall be saved. These preachers that says baptism is an outward sign of inward grace that's told by an outward devil. That's right. Come tell me that. I make you lick that lie up. That's right. You got a preacher that's not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You got a sinner for a bishop, Amen. a sinner for a pastor. Yeah. Well, I was told that water don't save nobody. Hmm, first Give me the Peter, first Peter. Chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. I want to knock all the lies out of Cleveland Park. <laughs> that's, right. <laughs> that's right. Knock all the lies out of Cleveland Park. Amen. I want you to look at the way you claim you're saved tonight yeah. and see is it in here. That's it. Come on, Come on son. Follow me. First Peter chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. What is it? With some time we're disobedient. Some time we're disobedient. This, belongs... is for, this is for those who are taught, what it don't save nobody. Yeah. All right, let's make a liar out of him. First Peter chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. Come on, William. With some time we're disobedient. Some time was hard here. With once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. Well, what? While the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is eight souls, were saved by water. How do baptism work for us? The light figure where unto? The light figure. Just like they were saved by water in Noah's day then, the light figure. Where unto? What does baptism do? Even baptism doeth also now save us. Bishop said water don't save nobody. Even baptism doeth also now save us. No, Bishop said water don't save nobody. You ain't got to be baptized at the outward sign of inward grace. Even baptism doeth also now save us. Your bishop is a liar. Go back and tell your bishop. Hey, bishop. Hello? Bishop. You said, well, don't save nobody. Yeah, liar. Hang up. That's right. That's we right. have the same, same spirit, spirit of, faith. of faith. Of faith. According as it is to written. as it is written. I believe. It's written. It's written. That's right. I believe what's written. That's it. That's it. That's it. I believe That's right. what's written. It's written. Amen. They ain't gonna believe what's written, what you carry in the Bible for, That's what right. you read in the Bible for, why you got it on the dashboard of your car, why you got it decorating your old rotten coffee table in your house. Amen. Why your bishop got it on the podium? He don't believe it. Don't believe Tell him it. to give it to a thrift shop so a believer that can't afford one can get it and follow it. That's right. You hypocrite. The light figure where unto. You Pentecostal hypocrite, you apostolic heathen, you Christian faker. Preach it, man. That's what you are. That's right. Who oh, everything in Cleveland that don't believe the word of God, you are heathen, <laughs> hypocrites, and you ought to go to hell. That's right. 
preacher. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? The light figure we're unto. The light figure we're unto. Even, even baptism, baptism doeth also now no, save bishop, us. No, Bishop said it don't do it. Even baptism doeth also now save us. When does it save us? Now. When? Now. What do Cleveland got to do it? Even baptism doeth also now. When do Cleveland got to get baptized? Now. Amen. Acts 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. How much of Ohio? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I don't Ghost. care if you are a preacher, you are a deacon, a so-called elder. You ain't no preacher. You ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. I don't know where you are a preacher. You ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You walk around still in your sins, trying to save somebody, Jesus. and you ain't saved yourself. That's right. Man, if you don't know no better, That's right. but you got to recycle bum for a preacher. Yeah. It's time for him to retire now. That's right. And come on and do like the Bible said. If that, look, how many here want to go to hell? Want to go to hell? Raise your hand. Mm. Huh? Nobody want to go? No takers. Buddy. No takers? No takers. Anybody want to be right and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet tonight if you want it. Want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. Stand on your feet if you want it. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. All of you. You ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not saved, never had been saved at all. Hallelujah. Everything in Cleveland got to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Hallelujah. Do you see this message? Hallelujah. Do you see it? Oh, it's a God. I, this, this, I, I told you, this is what God do all the time. All the time. All the time. Cleveland got to repent. 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 repent.